let's get started. We've got our two dressers here. This is the one that I'm going to turn into the TV stand. All right, and this is the one that I'm just going to distress and put back into the guest bedroom. These are the drawers for this dresser. So basically all that's going to happen with this dresser is we're going to paint it and distress it. Same thing here. However, on the handles, I am going to change those. I got some handles here and I'm just going to change them to just real simple bronze handle. So for this we have, um, I've seen it really highly recommended when you're distressing things because you don't have to sand. CC Caldwell's paint, we've got the vintage white which is what the both out, outsides of both of these will be. The inside of this one is going to be this color which is not really focusing so you can't really tell but I'll tell you it's a uh, well I don't remember the name color the color of it but anyway this is kind of like a teal blue so that's going to be the inside of this one right here the TV stand then I went to Lowe's and I couldn't decide what yellow I want to get so I've got two different sample colors here they look the same on here but I promise they're different um, and that's what I'm going to use for the shelves inside this one. We've got our paint brushes, we've got our mixing bucket in case we want to mix any of the two together. We've got our wood glue so that the shelves will stay attached. And then I had to go and get some some plywood, I guess you call this, um, cut at Lowe's so that we could put it in as shelves onto the dresser that's going to become the TV stand. I'm only going to have a shelf on this top one and then on the bottom one. I'm not going to have anything in the middle here because I just want to be able to set stuff like, you know, baskets with blankets and stuff like that in the bottom. And then the top we're going to put like our um, cable box and, I don't know, game system, whatever else. So, this is our before picture. I'll give you guys an update in a little bit once we come back and we've done a little bit more. And right now we're just going to work on getting this stuff knocked out, these middle pieces right here, so that we can put the shelves in. So just make sure you measure if you don't have, I don't have anything below um, where my drawers were, so make sure you measure that so when you go to Lowe's you can get it cut exactly the size that you need. So. We'll be back. Okay, before I paint this dresser white, um, so we went inside and painted it blue and yellow. The scheme in the living room is uh, kind of a turquoise blue, yellow, gray, and white. So I actually was going to paint the whole thing blue, but I ran out of that sample and so just decided to paint the other sides and I think the top yellow. But before I painted it white, I wanted to kind of show you guys. I want to distress it to where a little bit of this blue comes through. So what I did was I just painted, just took my paintbrush around the sides where I will probably distress it. And that way that blue color will come through a little bit once I put the white on there and distress it. Um, over here we started the white part of the other dresser so those are all of the drawers there and they've got one coat I'm going to do one more coat and then this is totally painted with one coat so I'll get another coat on there and then we'll start distressing it. Alright guys so here is our second coat of paint dried. I've got the shelves sitting in there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start distressing it. Um, this is the cool thing about this paint I started distressing it right here. You can kind of see I took a little bit off. All you do with this paint, because it's clay based and chalk based, is you just get a wet cloth and you just kind of rub the area you want to look distressed. And you see it just comes off really easily. And you can kind of see the blue that I painted underneath there yesterday. So I'm going to get to working on this and just kind of distress it out a little bit and also I'll start working on this dresser, getting it all distressed and um, we'll be back with the finished product. 
Alright, so here is our finished project for the dresser turned into a TV stand. And you can see we put in some of the distress. And still got a couple things I need to put into baskets on the bottom shelf, but there it is. Turned into a TV stand, sits up nice and high. And that's it. Now let's look at the dresser. And here is the dresser for the guest bedroom. Got it distressed. Looks nice. There you go.